YouTube, what's going on? And welcome to the seventh episode of my Anderlet career mode. In this episode, we face Liverpool and Manchester United are the main games of the episode. And then we also have a third Premier League game against Crystal Palace. The first game of the episode will be against Liverpool as we have kind of been hit some not so good form. So it's really important to get a win here. Here's my team who now pulls in Thielman, Stefor, Kelston, Hoiberg, Henley, Nutrick, and Bemba, Van Born, and Proto is the squad that I will be taking to face Liverpool. Now, Liverpool are a very uh, famous side. They've had a rich history and as they signed Vidal. As here comes Henley, he's dribbling the ball, he goes up, he gets tackled, he goes down, and we'll see if that's an injury. He's staying down as we lose the ball, and yes, it is an injury for Henley, as that's just really unfortunate, and I don't like when teams injure my players. We're going to have to watch out for that on the rivalry meter, but now continuing on in the 40th minute, here we go. We're dribbling it down with Poulsen. Poulsen, he tries to make a move here. He cuts back in. He beats the defender, tries to keep it, gets out muscled, whips in the cross. They almost win it. Goes up for another header, but he loses it to Gerrard, and another player is down. A second injury for Anderlecht, and I do not like this at all as clutch and goes down as we have to bring on Rabiot, and this will definitely make Liverpool one of the strong rivals in this series. I do not like when teams injure my players, let alone two in one half. That's just unacceptable. Next time we play them and this game, we need to go after them, and for the rest of the series, we need to make this important games and show them not to injure my players. So they will become a rival as Vidal is on the ball right here. He plays through Sturridge. Sturridge to Sterling the shot, but Mbembo with a crucial block as my offense wasn't really here this whole game, but my defense was holding steady so far. Balotelli on the ball. He whips it outside to Glenn Johnson. Johnson to Balotelli. Balotelli to Sterling. A huge block by Van de Bourne. And that looks like that's going to be the game. My defense really stepped up this game. They said, you know what, with two injuries, we got to step it up. The offense wasn't there this game, which it won't be there every game. But the defense hustled and led us to a nil-nil draw, which was a decent result against Liverpool. And now we see that Clutchin is out eight days and Adam Henley is out four weeks. Very disappointing as Henley was starting to grow and had some very solid games, including a Capital One Cup winner in extra time. So... That's very disappointing, and now we go into our game against Manchester United, the Red Devils. I'm going with Mitrovic, Mbolo, Baker, Luka, Rabiot, Loftus-Cheek, Ensilaka, Stones, Mbemba, Constellatis, and Proto in goal. So this is a squad that I really hope that we can get three points out of this game as we've been just hitting some bad run of form, and we just need to get on the right track and score a goal or two because that would really help as my goal-scoring tally has not been going off good as Di Maria with the shot, but the Greek right back with a big block as both Henley and the Greek right back have been very impressive as Mitrovic on the ball. He takes a shot, but it gets deflected. And now here we go. We have a corner. We whip in the corner as we get it. It's headed away, but Mbolo with the shot, and it's a good save by Lindegaard. Surprised that De Gea is in playing this game. But, yeah, we'll see what United are doing. And Baker whips it another quarter. It's Luka. It's saved by Lindegaard. Back outside of Mitrovic. Mitrovic outside to Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek with a shot on his weak foot. As that was closer than I expected, but I thought it was someone else. And now here comes Mbolo. He tries to make a move on Luke Shaw, but it gets intercepted. And that will wrap it up for the first half. As we've been playing pretty decent. Probably outplaying them. Might deserve a goal. But, yeah, no real chances. As now we have the Greek right back. He's moving. He's going. He's going. Going along again. He's still going. He makes a nice pass there. Outside the loft is Sheik, who has another shot on his weak foot, as he's been very impressive so far in the few games he has played. Might need to bring him back next year as he whips another cross. It gets punched out by the keeper. And now cleverly. Tom Cleverly for Manchester United. What is this? He puts in a through ball and Rooney whips in the cross. It's to Ensilaka. Bad clearance right to Kagawa. And now we have a chance to clear it. No, it's back to Rooney. Rooney takes the shot. It's the block. And it's in the back of the net. Wayne Rooney gives Manchester United the lead. But how did this happen? It looked like the goalie dived the wrong way. Let's see this again. Rooney gets the ball up here. He takes the shot. It looks like it takes a deflection, but the goalie dives late. 
Oh, that's just terrible luck for Anderlecht, and probably a big mistake from the goalkeeper Proto, but that isn't even the worst mistake he'll make in this episode, as now we were very determined to get a goal. We did not want to lose this game, because I feel like we deserve to win this game. Here we go. Luca is on the ball. He's making a move. He's bringing it back. He passes it back outside to Rabiot. Rabiot, he gets it outside to Loftus-Cheek. Loftus-Cheek holding it up but loses the ball. And now in the 90th minute, United have a corner, which we eventually do clear. But that is going to be the game. A disappointing loss for Anderlecht as the two sides were very even. And a loss was pretty unjust for the Anderlecht side that played very decent. So... A disappointing match, but now we see that both of the players have returned from injury, and we have a press conference for a game against Crystal Palace. I praise the guys because as we've been hitting some rough form, I really feel like we just need to just put all together this game, and I go with a full strength starting 11 after the two-week international break week, so that will be a full strength side to play Crystal Palace in basically a must point game so we can't lose this game or I'll be very disappointed with the run of form that we've been getting as Campbell he takes this and no he actually won't he'll just let it go as here they go up for the free kick from their own half and they whip it in but it's strong by Mbemba and out here comes Ledley he whips it into Zaha Zaha into the middle of the Campbell Campbell with his shot and it's almost the first goal of the game for Crystal Palace they've been looking pretty impressive as here comes Rabiot he plays it through can he get there Mitrovic, no, look, it's intercepted. But then Klaassen with the steal. It's up to Tielmans. Tielmans, he'll have a hit. No! Yuri Tielmans with the stunning goal in the 37th minute. Yuri Tielmans makes a stunning effort for Anderlecht, the first goal in a while, and it's a fantastic one. Reasons and plays like this are why people think he could be something special, and maybe he already is. His third goal of the year, a stunning effort, much better than the first goal in the first game of the series, and wow, he's been just playing so well on another level. Level. Proto, one mistake there. Probably should have caught the ball, but he gets out for a corner. Not that bad. But here, Benek d delivers the cross. It's a header. It's a weak header. Probably should have caught that one too. But now they get another corner. What will they do on this opportunity? They go to whip in the cross. It's head down. Easy save for Proto. Wait, what? He put... What? He taps it. It looked like he tried to tap it up on the other side of the bar, and Zaha just tapped it in. What happened there? Let's see this on replay. Proto, he could have easily caught the ball, but he just decides to tap it onto the bar, right back to Zaha for the tap-in. What is he doing there? Oh my, a crucial mistake from Proto. So disappointing in this episode. And that will lead us into halftime, and oh my, that just puts a sour taste in our mouth after we've been beating them. Now Mitrovic, he's on the ball, he gives it up to Tielmans. Tielmans tries to make one too many moves and just gets taken out, so that will be nothing. And now Shamak gets it into the middle, and we try to clear it, but no, it gets back outside Zaha. Zaha to Zednak, Zednak with a shot, lucky it wasn't on target for Proto as he might have made another mistake, but now here comes Yuri Tielmans, he dribbles around, he makes a move, here he comes, he's going, he's out on the wing, he goes, he does a fake shot around, loses it, gets it back, loses it again, my player, he slides, gets the ball, back to Tielmans, the shot is saved by their keeper, and now 90th minute, our last chance of the game, it's Klautschen, he's on the ball, he's moving, He's looking for somebody. He finds Rabi on the center. He dribbles it in. Right back outside Tillmans. Tillmans with the shot. It's off the bar. And we draw this game. Such a disappointing result. As I don't know why Proto is clapping. He played terrible. Blew the game. And that was just such a disappointing result for us. A 1-1 draw. But we got to keep our head positive. Next episode we play Charming Rovers in the Capital One Cup. Anderlecht won 2-1.